whether Jared Kushner or Hope Hicks gave them this, is Donald Trump acknowledging that he knows he lost. It's one thing for him to be told by certain people that he lost because there was other people telling him he did not lose. But if you can get it out of his mouth that he knows he lost, that's golden evidence for prosecutors. Ryan? So I agree with Ellie that uh, intent is essential. I agree with Ellie that it would be super important and very valuable to the prosecutor if they could prove that Trump knew he lost, but I don't think that they need that. Um, and even the way the New York Times reports it, they say if the prosecutor had that information, it could bolster his case or it could be, make it a more robust case. That's true. But there's so many other ways that this could be prosecuted. And it doesn't matter. Trump could have thought that he won the election, but it doesn't give him any legal right to pressure Mike Pence to violate his oath. That would be a separate crime. It doesn't give him any legal right to have a scheme to create false slates of electors who declare that they are the electors, the rightful electors, and to, then to submit that to the National Archives and to Congress to try to gum up the works. And if the prosecutor also charges uh, former President Trump for the violence on January 6th. It does not matter whether or not he thought he won. And I do want to just yeah. mention Hope Hicks did give explosive testimony before the January 6th committee on that particular issue. So there's this open question. Was the prosecutors also, were they also asking her about that? Because she testified in those text messages that she advised President Trump on January 4th and 5th to say to everybody publicly, please stay peaceful on January 6th, and he refused her advice. That's in the final report from the select committee. Yeah.